Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to copy the data from the on-premises to pro. How to do that with Azure Data Factory? Okay, today, okay, I will create a pipeline. So I'm giving the pipeline name, pipeline, copy on-prem to cloud. Okay, so here after that, I'm going to use the copy data. You know, the copy data is useful for the activity to copy the data from the one target location to sorry, one location to another target location. Okay, this is the source is nothing but the where you are getting the data. Okay, the sync is nothing but where you are after getting the data, you are going to store in some target location that is the Azure SQL database. Okay, this is on premises, this is the Azure SQL database. So, how to connect the both of them? Okay. I will show first of all new I'm going to create a new on premises SQL server okay I'm going to connect okay SQL server this is the okay data set underscore on premises SQL database okay so after that you need to use the link service okay the link service and the table name okay this link service is provide to communicate with the resource okay and you can see products select on the products okay if you don't know the link service and I will show once a small small step you can see this is a link service when you want to communicate with the link service okay for example I want to communicate with the um, on premises database so you can see so azure runtime integration runtime you know um, in my previous video already i made a video on the integration runtime currently we are using the self host integration runtime here i'm going to connect with the on premises database sql database which is in the, your machine with the linked service okay here you have to mention your sql database here you can see these details okay sql database details you have to mention here and you have to connect via link service i hope you got it okay again we are going to our work okay and this copy database this is a source location i'm going to create a one sql server okay. so i'm going to give a name on prem sql server okay this is a link to service already we have i have shown before just a minute back okay and the loading the tables actually i want to work with the table name the products i'm going to copy this this whole products okay and click on okay so the data set with the name already exists okay i'm going to on premises server one Okay. again we will work on the sync service okay sync is nothing but where you are going to store your data after you get the data from the on-premises you are, you are going to store into somewhere else the target location that is the azure sql database okay azure sql database you need to configure this okay link service and another thing i want to show here you have to create the two link service one is to communicate with the on-premises on and another one you have to communicate with the sql database okay azure sql database the the two i will show you can link service yeah already i have created a one um link service that's that is going to communicate with our Azure SQL database. You have to mention here, here the fully qualified domain name and the Azure database and the authentication type and username and password. And after that, you have to test the connection. And another thing you have to keep in mind if you want to communicate with the SQL database in the cloud, you have to a firewall setting. So you can see the firewall setting. This is the SQL server. Again, I'm going to SQL server. You can see click on this sql server and click on this and go to the firewall settings okay without firewall allow you can't do anything okay see allow azure services to resources access this server okay click on s otherwise you can't access that 
okay later again we get back our work and the sync service again I'm going to Azure SQL database okay and the link service already I have shown on minute back uh, this link service is going to communicate with the cloud okay Azure SQL database so actually I wanna I want to create a new table in the Azure SQL database already I have in the on-premises so I want to copy that table into um, I want to copy into Azure SQL database with the separate name with the, with the separate name okay so dbu dot um, products copy okay this product copy is where it will store Azure SQL database with this um, new table okay click on ok now what do I have to do go to the source ok use query as a table the sync data yeah here you have to this radio button click on this radio button because we are creating auto create the table ok everything has done now we will validate the Pipeline. After that, we have to debug this. Before that, I will show one thing. Actually, I am copying this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Products. Okay. Actually, I want to copy this all items is in the products table I'm going to copy into the Azure SQL database okay yeah you can see you can see yeah row, row read is 160 okay the data is copied successfully now we will go whether the data is existed in the Azure SQL database okay this is Azure SQL server in the SQL server search for the Azure SQL database yeah, this is our SQL database and go to the query editor and type your the table yeah you can see we have given the name the products copy where is it yeah that is in the configuration okay yeah you can see yeah you can see the tables once yeah 54 is copied this is the way we are going to copy the data from the on-premises to cloud okay thank you so much okay if you want to communicate with the okay if you want to copy the store procedures or anything you have a lot of option here okay but currently we are copying the table okay thank you so much